I'm so excited to be talking with Constance Lien, a world champion in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, an Asian Games silver medalist, a trailblazer, and she's from Singapore. Constance, it's a great honor for me to be chatting with you because I don't often chat with world champions. But tell us, how did you get into Jiu Jitsu? Because it's not exactly a very mainstream sport in Singapore, is it? I basically was looking for something that uh, I really enjoyed. I actually swam for um, ever since I was born. Uh, and I kind of shifted um, into martial arts because I just lost passion in swimming and I was going through quite a lot. Like I had an eating disorder. Um, I had self-esteem issues and I just really wanted to get out of um, swimming and find something that I, I really loved. Tell us the story about how you wrote yourself a message on a piece of paper and then stuck it up on your wall in order to motivate you. What was that all about? Because I'm a very concrete person. So what I did to keep myself going um, through those really tough training camps was I actually wrote down, um, you will be world champ. Uh, and I put like a number one beside it. Um, and I put it up on my wall. So every morning when I wake up at 5 a.m., before I go to the toilet, I see it. What is Constance going to be doing in the future? I see myself um, using my sport to create a greater impact on mental health, uh, especially in Singapore. I feel that um, it's so important um, for the sporting community to be built based on um, a more holistic way of thinking, meaning that we're not just focusing on the physical performance of athletes and coaches. We are focusing on... Um, the mental health aspect of it. Because I think for us to achieve great things, we need to realize that it's not just about doing, 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 but it's also about reflecting. And that's where all the mental health stuff comes in. Because, you know, you need to be one with the body, as cliche as that sounds. Yeah. Constance, it's been amazing talking to you. Your journey to this point has been incredible, but it sounds like you've got a whole lot more road to cover as well in the future. And I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much.